All right, everybody. This is the onboard broadcast. I'm Briggerhoff17. If you're watching, great. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we're on my br YouTube channel. We're going to be doing onboard uh, views with mine. And then Saucy, well, GTR along with so. the sauce, he's sitting there and he's going to run the regular broadcast on, is it on your YouTube? Yeah, we got my uh, personal GTR underscore LL, okay. the sauce. Gonna be giving a uh, two tone of views, um, not on the COVID broadcast. We just um, some little, some issues with um, the YouTube on some ends, technical but. difficulties. But yeah, yes, we got the cup race on there earlier, so but right. So you just you could put one on your phone, put another on your computer or TV screen. So that should be cool. We're waiting for uh, broadcaster Clay's invite. He's in charge of the room at the moment, and. Uh, Hopefully we'll get that invite soon. They're supposed to have been sending it at 11.30. It's 11.31. No messages from our pal yet. Yes, I just, all right, join. There it is. We can join? Yes, we can. Okay, I didn't see your pole sitter, so take a look when you get in there. <laughs> But we are at Michigan. We just ran Auto Club with the Xfinity cars. That was an 8 p.m. Eastern race. The 9.30 Eastern race was the Cup cars at Auto Club. But the trucks, they went a little further east and north to Michigan International Speedway. Nike boy Will with the pole tonight. And that Good 51 job. Toyota, that's for underdog motorsports. Way to go, Nike boy. Are you in the... I am in. Send me another one, please. Oh, do you need another invite? If you can, if not, if your audience no way. I'm already, I'm already in, in, so now. let me know. I, I'll get All out. Right, green flag in. here. 51 out front, the 17 behind him here in the all out truck series, Cobra E Racing. A little nightcap after the Xfinity and. Oh, we got trouble in the back. Club. Two guys spinning. Already. Looks like Ski Mask Lazy was one on of them. The first lap. Interesting. Turn Look number three. Broadcast. All right, I don't know what what exactly went on. I did see the two cars just spin up the track. Um, look, these guys, there's a lot of experienced drivers in here. There's some newer drivers in here. But let's be honest, most guys that are driving in these leagues today, they've had this game for about two years. So no one's that new. But they might be new to Cobra. And we'll let you know when we see those names. Nike Boy here is not new to Cobra. Was a staunch ARCA and Xfinity competitor just a year ago. And behind him, in the number 17 Ford, that's Fire Slayer. Another guy who's been a member of this league on and off. Currently on, as you see, but he's running over there in second place. Let's get them racked back up and get these guys back out. There's a 50% race here at Michigan, so there won't be that many laps. So caution flags will take away from a bit of the racing here if we have too many. There's Ski Mask. Remember, he wasn't in the wreck. Maybe that was the two who was in the wreck. I mistook the red and white trucks. Two car, that's Ratliff. He's making his debut for Litsum. A green flag here, 51 17. 33 is Cyogenic, the 20. A four pig. And Cyogenic almost looked in the middle there, but he's going to follow your leader, Nike Boy, into turn number one. The bottom line will be the prevalent line with the trucks. They do like to stick on the bottom there, and you see him swing off of turn number two. And they want to stay in the draft as much as possible. Big block by Nike Boy here on uh, essentially the replay of the opening Three lap. Wide. But here comes Ski Mask Leasy in the middle in that 22 truck. Fire Slayer is going to get hung up high in the 17, but he'll get in that draft and try and get reorganized. There's one truck there in the middle. Is it the three truck? Cyogenic to the lead. There's the eight truck of Baseball Kid coming up the road. Cyogenic fighting for the lead. Who's going to lead that lap? It looks like Nike Boy might have edged him out for that lap very narrowly. And he's going to edge him out into the turn as well. But here comes the 33 fighting hard on the outside. No real help from the rear as everybody fell off of his pace. But here comes Nike and Boy still wall. fighting on the bottom and the 16 in the wall towards the rear. And we got Kobe Gamer. He's uh mechanical issues already. He's uh, done for the night. Uh, poor luck. For Making Kobe. his debut as well for Cobra. Short one at that. We got a guy. We're four wide, wide in the back. Oh, the three and the twenty-two make contact. We are spinning. I saw a white truck, and he it's was like uh, from the eight truck. I want to say, caution is out. Well, how many eight trucks are there? Oh, big wreck <laughs> on the front stretch. Two cars around. Three cars. 
I'm yeah, not like sure who was involved, the Fire Slayer is involved. It doesn't look like the 2 was involved. The 18 the is here. very much involved. 2's got big damage. Travis Sun involved. Travis Sun was expected to miss the race tonight. Here he is, though. Congratulations, Mr. Travis Sun. We learned that I got my uh, view right here on GTR Butters. Shout out to Butters, co-owner, co-CEO of the Cobra E-Racing Series. Out here hearing trucks uh, getting a good time going, so shout out to Butters. On board with the 15 truck now. I uh, was just going to say congratulations to Travis Steve. I'm not sure how many years, but tonight is his wedding anniversary. And here he is, so she's got to be pretty cool if she's letting them race on their anniversary. Good job there, Travis Steve. He handled his business. <laughs> there He's you go, racing. Butters. <laughs> Travis Steve handled his shit. <laughs> we got the 33 and the 51 starting out front. Green Somebody flag. Way down low in the start on the apron, a 98 it looks like. Not in the grass. Sure 98 is. Oh, yeah, I'm have, not sure um, what they're doing. Maybe some lag issue. Tie racing, yes. That's um, that's happening for I'm on board. Ratliff right here. They're in three wide back here in the back. Yeah, we got Nike back there. Nike boy and Cyogenic have swapped sides. Now Nike's on the outside as they fight out of turn number two into the back stretch here. Unfortunately for Cyogenic, the uh, top line's working better this time. No, and they're four wide, five wide back there. 26, colleague fan on the apron. A little bit of contact from the 33. the eight down low with a push from the 40. Contact, 33-51. <laughs> they're banging. They're wrecking, boys. Oh, my God. Huge wreck. Well, the 33 hit the 51. Cars and trucks everywhere. Then Nike Boy took a left into the 33. Carnage. And that, that just took out oh, Carnage's right. Oh, Butters involved. The 10's involved. That just took out Everyone's the entire involved. field. 18. Guys are getting Huge a little wreck. chippy here early on. Yeah, this is the all out truck series, baby. Wow, what a Sorry, spectacle. green truck, colleague fan says. Spectacle here in the truck series to start off. Three caution flags in stage number one. Have we we must have finished stage number two. Uh, no, number one that is. Um, I don't think so. I'm gonna try and find a streamer for us. I just had it on um, Slayer stream. Travis, he's got one open as well. I'll go on his, I guess. So we're looking at. Let's see. Let's we see are on line. board with the pole sitter, but he's back in the pack this time. We got up front there, Sauce. We have the eight car baseball, eight, eight truck baseball kid, 16 truck story squared. We got, uh, you at the line. Oh, yeah, we got five laps left, stage two. You're right, stage one is done. Caution's all stage one. This is going to be a yeah. quick one. Oh, 51 trying to get down low, but Travis, he throwing the block out of turn back two. There. That's mid pack. Let's go up with the leaders. I see the 22 up there. That's second place ski mask, Leasy. Baseball kid in the eight is your leader. And the 26, that's your guy in third. And it's Cog fan right there, making his uh, return to Cobra. He uh, missed a lot of last season, but out there at 26, got the three car of Terrell to Phantom below him. Trying to go through the field here real quick while I can to 83. Wicked Fridays, Turf Tech in the 10. Butters, your CEO, look at him spreading out. We are on board with fifth place, that is Fire Slayer. DK in the 75, big move. I'm just trying to make sure I get everybody in the broadcast. Cowboy out here. JMW, another guy. Big T-Bones. One of my guys. JMW driving for the Rum Runners. My stable back there. Baseball he, kid. Look at him out front. JMW was confident about this race, so I'm, I'm sure he's not. He's anguishing sitting in the back of the field right now. He's very good here. A little bit of a lag out of the three, oh, and big, that kind of messed up the bottom the line. Back. Another Huge caution. Wreck. I don't know if that's going to oh, end man. the stage or not. Gosh. We're close. Travis is done once again. He is. Man, he might. He should have. He should have went and had him some dessert. Man. <laughs> Maybe he should have stayed with the wife. <laughs> Would have been having more fun, I'm sure. It's tough. It's like that's going to probably be the end of the stage. Baseball kid's going to be your winner. We're going to start stage three. We're going to have um, some pit stops in there. Well, I don't know how are. many costumes we've had so far. Maybe three. Four. Just... We've had four. Going through the field, make sure everybody gets a, gets a look. It's looking quick tonight. Uh, before stage three starts, who's your who's your pick here? Real quick. 
I think Ski Mask looks really good through the first two stages, and not to be okay. a homer, because that is my guy, but I think I'm going to pick Ski Mask to win this race. I think that uh, 51 and Nike Boy is going to make a comeback. Uh, not a bad pick at all. It's your pole center. Yeah, we'll be on board with him to start the stage as we look ahead from the fifth position. That's the 8 and the 22 up front. Uh, baseball Kid and Ski Mask, respectively. The 26 Aqualic Fan is third. Fire Slayer is fourth. Fifth is your onboard camera, Nike Boy. And that's the three truck up in six. That's your Daytona win. Oh, he didn't win Daytona, but he won the first two stages at Daytona. Uh, Terrell, is that his name? There we go. The 26, 51, making moves on the inside of the 22. That's Here's the way the to go, yeah. Fire Slayer underneath uh, Ski Mask. The 17 Don't tried. Count out that 17. He definitely tried to get down low as soon as he could. I should have before the stage. He is up there and he is rolling. The 51 to the to the lead here. We are on board with the three now. Terrell the Phantom is uh, he follows Fire Slayer down low. He's third truck in line. 26 trying to make a 26 move. 26 making it three. Going the three wide. Lagging. He pushes Terrell down the to the inside. the inside wall. He's going back and on the track. And he goes right Dre. up the track. Takes out half the field. Everyone. That is something that honestly Huge I think drag. we got to talk about as a board is moves like that, but um, that didn't happen in the other two races. So. In there, the tens involved, turf tech. But yeah, Terrell the Phantom. Dink just, Hate, the seventy-five cowboy, uh, JMW definitely in it. Two bad moves there. The twenty-six putting it three wide, at least from my point of view, was kind of an awkward move. And then the I three. I saw the eight car lag on my screen, so maybe he had to. But oh, yeah, that's I a good point. A that's a good point. We don't know yet. But still, that that kind of caused the bottleneck that put the three down on the grass, and then he came right back up and finished the job. That's uh, that's targeting. Fifty-one to the lead. <laughs> this is um, hey, listen, if, if these guys want to keep having cautions, it's going to be a short night for us all. That's a that's true. Story Square in the 16 back up in the field. Don't forget, you had a decent run there in the Xfinity Look race. Look at the 18, Trav, right here. I, I think he did a little strategy. Pit, a little pit strategy, yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't think so. it's gonna work. It is not gonna. It's not gonna work. He's not called Travis. He's son for no reason. Tires is everything here. Here's that 17 with that shifter. We are on board. Middle of the pack of Cyogenic on the 33. As you see, the eight is still up front. Baseball kid, the 22, still in second place. Here comes Kyle. I don't know what happened to Travis. I guess he moved out the way. The eight car to the lead, getting a push by the 16. Yeah. Travis, six, fighting with They're the gonna four. They're going to make it three wide down the back stretch. That's broadcast Here comes the 23 down low, three wide. 23 is making a three on his partner. Oh, Kyle Van almost can't hold on to it. Into Takes the four, out. Broadcaster Clay. Puts the four up near the wall. Here comes Story Square and Travesty getting up high as well. But the the down the bottom line, here comes Cyogenic here in the middle as well. We're on board with him as he pushes his way through. He's not here for a draft. He's here to win this race. And he shows you right there with that power oh, move. Wow, look at him. Nike Boy is going to take that draft into turn one, though, and hold his position while Cyogenic will take fifth into the turn. Oh, they're four wide back there. Boy, Travis up top. Running that cup line in the 33 oh, truck. Are they gonna hang on to it? Oh, the oh, 22. 22, big move. Changing Someone's lanes on the there. Back there. We are back on board with the 51 as we as we followed that and move. Here comes the 33 up top. He's got a huge run. Pushing the 23 out of the way is uh, Nike boy. On board with Ski Mask as he tries to push the eight into the lead. Is he gonna make a move himself? The 22, getting back up high. He's got to make room. There's a lot of trucks around Throwing him. It in there. Squeezes it between the, the, the 51 and the 17. Three wide, the three can't and the hold 17. The bottom. Can't hold the bottom. The three can't hold the top. The three truck couldn't hold it. Hits and the, the 22, 22 out of loses. shape. He's gonna save it. Oh, he he's loses it. Apron. Ski mask loses it. There Out goes my the pick. Track, hits the two. This could be a caution. It sounds like it. I hear engines dialing back. Nope, I don't. Never mind. They're we full green. We are still green. The 33 truck out front. I was just heard uh, Fire Slayer lift, but that was it. They're going. The 33 Cyogenic is out front. He's by himself. Can these guys get together and try to catch him back? The 51 of Nike was going to lead the train. Fire Slayer is right, just behind him. We will see a pit stop. The 8 is lagging a little bit. We're seeing on our screen. That's the 16 of Story Square riding for, uh, what are they called? Underdog? Yes, Underdog Racing. That's uh, one of the affiliates for Pete Cola's team, Gas. That's uh, Broadcast at Clay, or is your cat for Underdog? In that four truck, let's go find him, actually. 
Yeah, he got taken out a little while back. We'll take a, uh, a look for him too, yeah. There he is. He's middle of the pack, kind of near the rear, but yeah. he's still in the draft. He's still hanging in there. As long as you're in the draft, you're, you're doing good for yourself. You got a few trucks back there in the back. I think, he, I think he's just trying to avoid whatever's happening between yeah, the 83 got, and the 10. He's got big damage back there. Who's in the 69? Um, I want to say that's Cowboy, so I'm bored. Wicked Friday's here. These guys back here with Baseball Kid, and I want to say um, Torrey Square are going to have to get lined up. Let's try to get on Story Square, the 16 truck. Here he is. Yeah, he's in fourth. Butters and Ty Racing and J and W in the back trying to stay, stay in this draft. Sidechain's doing a decent job trying to break the draft up down the straightaway. Back to only, the front. Only has to make one move to do so. 17 of the 51 are disciplined. They are staying on their lines. 17 does take a lower line here through one and two. He's taking that Harvick line. Yeah, that's 17. He's a very experienced fire slayer. Five wins in the season one of All Out Trucks. So, no stranger to these trucks. Had a couple Arca wins last year. I think he won a race in Xfinity, if I'm not wrong. Uh, maybe I am. Uh, possibly. And he was Final Four season two of Cobra, so in Cup. In Cup, right. Shout out to everybody tuning in. This is the Cobra E Racing All Out Truck Series. Long live the sauce. Sprinkler Hot 17. Not Check on the, the main channel. We we'll try to link it there, but thank you for uh, tuning into these truck guys. Terrell the Phantom, by the way, caught back up to this D draft. I don't know how far yep. he was behind it, Story but here he is with well. it. He was pushing the 16. Now he's pushed him past the 17. Fire Slayer's got no help up high. Still trying Maybe to fight it off. lose but... time with that top truck. Cyogenic Sy isn't exactly pulling away from this group, but nobody is reeling him in either. This guy's got to work together behind him. There's a pack behind them. Three, six, nine. Nine trucks behind them. Oh, they're three wide back there. Oh, but green and black truck almost went off the rails there. Back here with Broadcaster Clay. Cowboy, T-Bone, someone lagged back here. Warpig. Uh, they're, they're battling hard, man. We're on war with Broadcaster Clay, who just brought us the first two races. Well, he brought us the cup race. He was in the Xfinity race this, uh, tonight. Oh, oh, we got oh, someone Warpig. Did he get the... pitted? Almost. Oh, he's in the grass. He's in victory oh, lane he's, now. He's going, yep, yep, a little too soon for that, but <laughs> here we are. Big second pack right here. Yeah, big T-Bone trying to make a move down low. This is the second pack. We got the 10 of Turf Tech, 8 of Baseball Kid, 83 of Wicked Fridays back here in this lead the second pack trying to get back up to the leaders. Speaking of leaders, I'm back on with Nike Boy. He's a bit closer to Cyogenic, but not exactly in making any moves here. He's just buying his time. You just gotta stay with him. They're three wide behind him. Yeah, that's definitely helping both these guys out. Looking backwards from your second place truck. Chevy out front, Toyota in second, and Chevy in third. So that's a Toyota in fourth. Yeah, they're getting a little strung out here. 33 trucks, uh and the 51 getting spread out right behind them. The three trucks, 17, 16. Yeah, They're not 50, exactly tight no more. 51 definitely has a good toe on the 33. He's not losing them really. Although through turn four, he might have lost them a bit. We'll get back on board. Yeah, maybe a tiny bit. He's still right there. Now you know he's still getting oh, the draft. Oh, there's a car time. being pitted in the back. Oh, tough 88's break. involved. Looks like it was the 13 truck. 69 is pitting. The 69 of Cowboy, yes, he was, uh, he was pitting or he was pitted. So we'll go back to the front here. 51. On board with him, chasing down that 33 of Cyogenic. Who will Cyogenic be picked up by in the uh, upcoming wave of wire? That's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, so far he's already shown to be reliable. Two races in, shown up to both of them. And uh, it's 51 in this three truck. They gotta trust each other and stay together. They're not gonna catch that 33. That's the only way. 
Do you know how many laps we have left? Uh, I'll see it here at the line just a bit. They're about seven to nine ish laps from uh, pitting, so. And then I don't think they have many more laps after pitting either. Can be close. Let's see. Oh, Ski Mask is still screwed and now up. Now it's just a matter of where you pit. You know, do you undercut, overcut? He's a three truck trying to make a move on the 51. Up high. Yeah, he's tired of following. He's got help. We got 15 to go. Terrell the Phantom has shown strength here before, and he's he's one of those trucks that hasn't been much of a follower. Mm -hmm. Oh, 17 got oh, tight. 17 as well. Yeah, I mean, he made a move right there. It didn't really work out. I don't understand it. I mean, like, uh, I mean. Now without the help, the three is still trying to make a move. Stops. Yeah, you can definitely pass these guys on pit road. But if you can get to the lead just before pit stops, it's definitely going to help you out a lot. So I understand that. Thank you, boy. All over the place trying to throw blocks on the three. They're going to start losing the 33 soon. Fire Slayer taking a nice sweeping turn down into turn number one. He's going to get a position on the three. Following the 16 to the back really straight. the bottom there. Real smooth sailing for the 17 into that corner. See if you can do it again on on Story Square. It, the 17 I've noticed is a little tight in middle. Uh, the, the guys in front of him do tend to gain a little at that point of the turn, but then he gathers gathers it back up and he's got real good straightaway speed and he's got good into the corner speed. Listen, we got a five truck breakaway. 33 of Cyogenic, 51, Nike Boy Will, 16 of Story Square, 17 Mike, Fire Slayer. Mikey's driving it hard into that corner. Here comes the 16 Ooh. as you look down low, or is he just losing? Oh, they are blocking. Are they, are they pitting? I think the 16, yeah. Pitting. I think the 16 got loose. And We're going to see if they're pitting right here. I would take that as a pit signal if I was done behind. Yeah, 16 just looks like case, he's going to pit. Yes, he's pitting. The 16's pitting, the 51's pitting. Oh, they almost touch. rack, almost rack those those two. Seventeen coming in real, real hot. The uh, three and the thirty-three out. stayed out though. So let's see if these guys do what the strategy is. We're gonna move on though from them while they pit. See, they I'm ain't also tired, pit behind indeed. them. Big T Bone's also on pit road. So we're gonna see who um, say the thirty-three might be pitting or maybe just breaking the draft. Cycling through a couple of these guys. Ty Race to come back on the track. Up ahead of Butters there. Wicked Fridays is on pit road. So is Colic Fan and Broadcaster Clay. They're all on pit road. Three trucks coming to pit road. Three Travis. truck. Three truck cooks it. Absolutely cooks it. If the three doesn't have a speeding penalty, I will be astonished. We are on the 33 as they're side by side. We kind of missed the entry on our view. But well, yeah, judge, Slayer, judging by that uh, position. 51. The 51, 16, and the 17 are linked up here coming out of pits. That's going to be good for them if they could just stay together with this draft. You're not wrong. It's good for the three of them anyway. And the 10 is going to be with them as well. The, that's Turf Tech. Could, uh, Interesting. Or Bomber. Is that Bomber in the 10? No, Turf Tech's in the 10. That's Turf Tech. He, he could oh. hook up with them and give them a little extra boost as well. I don't see Bomber out here tonight. No, Bomber's still traveling. He's missed the first two races okay. there. You're defending Arca shout Champion. Out to, yep, shout out to him. Trying to find... Uh, here they come. That's It looks like the yeah, 30... The truck had a penalty. Yep, and the 33 is in turn two as he's coming up to speed. You get these three guys in a draft pit in a lap earlier, so... Interesting. And he so, comes out, out front. Yeah, that's uh, not what off. you want when you pit before. No, that's definitely not. It's the 33 struck uh, his race to, to lose at this point. Yeah, now he has a lot fresher tires as well. So even in the draft, these, these three are going to be hard-pressed to catch up to him and to make a move. On board with the 17, Fire Slayer, as the 51 is in front of him now. 
Yeah, we're gonna really have to work together to catch up to that 33 even with the Yeah, the three is way back in the path. Hey, have you seen some uh, green flag racing here in this third stage for the most part? Uh, stage three has been pretty good. A lot more than uh, one and two. JMW's coming up to speed. Uh, a couple of guys really hoping for a late caution here so they can have a chance at it. Dan Kate, one of them. GTR Butter is another. On board with Turf Tech. I think something happened to him. He was further up on this on this group. Wicked Friday is making uh, a move. Wicked passing call just fan. a few more laps earlier and they just the tire wear. Wicked Friday is still making a move. He's a free agent as well, Wicked Fridays. Yeah, um, interesting. Who do you think um who do you, who do you foresee to get, uh, getting picked up on the waiver wire, Brink? Well, it's interesting because we don't quite know who's going to be number one pick yet. But uh, I think there's everybody could probably pick somebody up. But are they willing to let go of the guys that are on their team already? It's, uh, it could be an awkward situation for some of them. That they have a place to put some of these guys. Even if they get Cyogenic, let's say, who could race cup. We all kind of agree. Do they have a place on their cup team for him? So it's uh they're gonna have to make room because he is out the lead, no one's catching him. Yeah, 51, 17, 16, they're trying, but it doesn't seem like they're gonna gonna get there. I could be wrong. Been wrong before. Yeah, we're gonna move up. We're just on Travis He's some for a little bit. Go. I think that truck that's in front is the right truck to be in front. Is it a Nike boy? That's the right one to try to do this out of those three. Respectfully. I just feel like he's shown the most speed besides the 33. I think the 17 and the 3 of Terrell the Phantom also shown that speed, but the 3 is not in the picture anymore. And uh, Fire Slayer is showing a little bit of a tightness in the middle of the corner. I'm sure if he's able to fix that in the last pit stop. But he's hanging tight right there in third place. So I think he's... Fire Slayer is just buying his time. I'm telling you, he had trouble in the middle of turn 3 and 4 oh, especially. They are. They're up to the 33's back bumper. On board yeah, with I the 17. Yeah, I think the 51 has used up a lot of tire trying to lead that into... Yeah, and don't forget, sitting behind this group right now, the yep. Toyota of Story Square. Teammates with the 51, by the way. They're partners in this. And uh, he could make a move here. He's been saving his truck. He's sitting right behind Fire Slayer, just biding his time. We're going to see a good finish here. I wonder if Nike's if trying to back up a little bit. something for that 33 truck. What the 17 needs to do is he needs to get to that bumper in the middle of the straightaway and give the 51 that push down the rest of it. So Trying to go. That's what they need to have happen, but the 17 doesn't quite get to the 51 until later on down the straightaway. See if you can get him here. It looks like he's fighting a bit of a push, the 17, as he's coming off turn two. It's like a loose push. Oh, the 17 oh, and the 33 makes, makes contact. Yeah, with the 51. They're going to get underneath them. Big block from the, oh, 33, the 33, but that puts oh, them in the, the wall. Into the wall. And look what happens. Fire Slayer now in front, but the 16 got underneath it the all, like we said. Involved. Is there going to be a caution? It's going to be a battle here with... I hope you Four know how many laps they have left. Four laps to go. Four to go. Wow. Fire Slayer, Story Square. Wow, what a... That wasn't necessary. Right the 33 with a big there. block, though. And the 50... I don't think the 51 there really did anything wrong there. He threw it in there pretty... Uh, we'll have to take a look elsewhere. But, I mean, yeah, just racing hard right there. Had to run. I think the 33's block was pretty, was pretty you know, hardcore. So... But, then, look, they both paid the price. Like, I don't think... That's the penalty yep. right there. That kind of racing got you nothing. We've seen that before. And I'm sure they're both very upset right now. But right now we got to focus. It's Story Square in the 16 yep. Toyota, the free agent Three Fire Slayer in the 17. And you know that's gonna that's gonna that's a decision right there. Cyogenic, two races in a row, top truck, but Rex at the yeah. end. Not of his own. I mean, well, yeah, that's something very unfortunate. Their dominant truck. 17 is going to be two to go here. I think the 17 is going to be setting up that 16 for something. 
We're going to go on board with the 17 to see if he can make a move. If you're watching on Sauce, he's got the outside shots. If you're watching with me, I am on board with second place. Fire Slayer trying to make a move. Two, Two to go. go. Two to go here with Story Square up in the lead for Underdog Motorsports. Who's Fire Slayer racing for? Nobody. Free agent. This could be the race where somebody says, you know what? I want that guy on my team. He's going to get a run here. It might be Story Square. He might have the stronger truck. Lap and a half left here at, all, at Michigan International Speedway. The 17 has a good amount of momentum entering turn number three, but Story Square has the line down low towards the white line, that Kevin Harvick line, as you hug through the corner. He's going to keep it low. Up. The 17 gets real close to the bumper this time. Going to push him into the turn here. He's okay not making the move yet. He's gonna got the last lap. He's going to get to the top. They're He's last. push 16. The last trip into turn number one. He takes a nice sweeping, smooth corner into the turn number one as the 17 prepares to make a move on Story Square. Can the 16 fend it off is. the 17? Can the Ford overpower the Toyota? One more time, turn number three. Here it they is. come. They touch. Just a bumper. bump. It sends does the, the 16 17, up the track. And does the 17 have momentum? Did he lose it on the bump? Story Square is going to win this. It looks like there's a lot of space left. Story Square, he's your winner in Michigan, but Fire Slayer comes home second. See if we got a top 10. I don't have it here, obviously. I don't know. We got Story Square 1, Fire Slayer P2, Turf Tech P3, Barcaster Clay P4, Baseball Kid P5, T Bone 6, Cytogenic 7, Nike Boy 8. Travesty Sun, 9th, and College Fan, 10th. There you go, there's your top 10. We're on 10th place. Slayer, Slayer Turf Tech in here. Yeah, Mikey Boy and Cyogenic, still with top 10s. You gotta wonder what if, though. Right. What if we could have just had a race instead of a derby? But congrats to Story Square and Fire Slayer. Look, they were in position to win that entire time, and they uh, held their trucks together, and they were able to pull off that one-two finish. So congrats to them. We'll get them in the chat here. And uh, third place was who again? Turf Tech. Turf Tech. All right. So you want to send them invites into the broadcast chat? Fire Slayer is probably already invited from last week. Yep. They're chatting it up in the Discord. It's going to be a... It's going to well, be a sure. for later. I haven't even checked yet. I think it's time to bring back the podcast. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> the Discord's been, uh, it's been hotting up all night. I haven't checked it either, so... Let's see who we got for the Fast Slap here. We got, um... Nike Boy Will. Fast Slap. Nike boy with the fastest lap. Good job. See, and we said Cyogenic was, oh, he was fourth fastest, even though he was able to hold up front with those guys. But, yeah, good job, Nike boy. He got the pole and the fastest lap. Could have had the win, too. Could have had it. Could have been a contender. So, get Turf Tech in here. What does he drive, the 10? Yep, yeah, driving that 10 truck. That's for, um, actually, Rising Dragon. It's uh, Chase Beatty. Yeah, Turf Tech's in here. He's invited. Okay, Turf Tech, you hear me? Make sure your voice can be shared. Last week we had a problem with that. Some guys' voices weren't shared. I don't know if it's in the chat yet, but he's, oh, okay. in, he's, he's in the actual chat, but not like you know. a good race for all these uh, truck guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Cobra e racing series. Fire Slayer. It's our P2. What's going on, fellas? What's up, Fire Slayer? Congratulations on second place. Oh, this guy's in a broadcast booth. All right, have a good All night, the folks. time. <laughs> <laughs> Turf welcome he, in. Turf Tech joined right at the same time. I really thought he left. <laughs> nah, he wouldn't leave. All right, Ben, what you got for these uh, these guys? All right, so Turf Tech, third place. I mean, you had kind of a, 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 a front row seat to what was going on in that front pack, but uh, you walk away with third place finish here at Michigan. Uh, what do you got to say for yourself here tonight? Um, I just kept getting caught in the first two stages like every wreck I was caught in. I could never make my way up front, and then I finally got up to that second pack, and it kind of <laughs> broke free for me, and then I had to deal with the eighth flag, and 
trying to guess where he was on the track was an adventure in itself. Well, well yeah, we kind of noticed some of that there. <laughs> what was what was uh, the issues in the first couple stages? We had a couple of caution flags more than we had last week, and honestly, in any other series, in the first six races that we've had this season. Um, I just think there was a lot of people not holding their line, and then it would get like three wide before pushing it three wide, and then it was causing backups that everybody was hitting each other, throwing each other into the wall. People would be down on the apron and then turn back up the track. So a lot of room taken, not a lot of room given. Yes. Gotcha. There was not a lot of giving in those first two stages. Gotcha. Glad well, the third stage kind of freed up a little bit and let us actually run more than two laps. We had two broadcasts and a couple streams, so we got some views of some things. <laughs> so, you know, and look, we don't hey. want it. We're not. We're not out here to attack anybody. We don't want anybody to be afraid to drive and race. But we do want guys to have a certain level of understanding and respect around each other, and to maybe not take the worst thought that comes into your head about what just happened. Maybe you just got loose or ran out of room. So yeah. retaliation doesn't really need to occur, but you know. <laughs> it does not work. With that said, don't want to get all preachy on you guys because you guys were <laughs> exactly the ones that were the ones to be preached about, right? Um, good podium, Turf. Uh, good to see you out there. Good to see you bounce back. And the yeah, truck. Good stuff. Yeah, hey, keep, keep your truck clean and things happen, right? Yeah, it was a fun couple of races. We the Xfinity race earlier, so got top 10 there, top three here. It was a good day. And you got good team points for Rising quack, Dragons, quack. so. Yeah, quack, quack. Other, can't say the other word, but yes. Uh, you got Fire Slayer, P2. He uh, almost got there at the end. What was uh, going through your mind there in that last lap? Uh, was, I mean, we were both in the same chat, and we were, me, Nike Boy, and Story were just ah. sitting there chilling, just trying to catch style. Um, then first and second got together and he got by me and I'm just like, hey, we're just going to sit here and chill for a little bit until the last lap and then we'll try racing each other and I just wasn't getting my entry points, uh, you know, I wasn't hitting them and I was just, I was just, I was just there, I was just hanging out tonight. <laughs> gotcha, I got you. Well, that's good. You're hanging out and you got second place. That says a lot for, you know, just hanging out for you. Everybody else, what's up? Yeah. Um, uh, first, I, first stage, I, I don't, first stage, I kind of got wrecked and sent back in the back of the pack and then a caution came out. I did notice because we were, I was doing a lot of onboard viewing and, uh, that you, you seem to have a good entry from our view anyway into the corners, but you were a little tight in the middle. I kind of made mention of it. Uh, you, you would lose a tiny bit to the guy in front, to Nike boy in front of you uh, in the middle of the corner, and then you would gather it back up. So were you just kind of playing with that, or was that sort of a crutch that you were trying to overcome there in, in the middle of the corner? Well, I was just trying not to get, like, if I would get up on him, like, touch him or come close to touching him, like, I would feel it in my wheel, the uh, ass end would want to start skating. So I wasn't trying to get too close up to him, mm -hmm. but, you know. Other than that, I was just, I was just trying to figure out some stuff. Michigan well, is, you know, Michigan is an easy track, but it's one of my ones that, you know, it's, I tend to screw up, so. Well, look, you're a free agent. You got two podiums out of the first two races. Uh, you're the only one, I think, that can say that. So, congrats, man. Good job. You earned it. Thank you. Right, we'll see you uh, off the waiver wire soon. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully get me out, uh, get me out of coach. <laughs> Another right. guy, uh, oh, the winner, yeah, go ahead, bring you got it. So, yeah, so our winner is, um, Story Square. Welcome. First place, first podium. That 16 truck looks good on you, huh? How's it feel? Well, I, I, I know, I know you made your owner real happy because he talked a lot about you before the draft, and, and you were the guy he Underdog, wanted. Underdog, so. baby! <laughs> oh, Clay got his first win. So, that. did that early on. 
Just t yeah, tell us about it. Tell us that what you saw. You were fourth place. You were just hanging out. And then mayhem. See, it does pay to make friends out there, guys. Everybody listening, make friends, not enemies. Hey, congratulations, Story Squared, uh, first win in Cobra. You raced Xfinity tonight, did pretty, uh, I want to say you got a top 10 day, am I correct? Yeah, I got hey, hey, top 5 and a win tonight, so uh, you feeling pretty good going into next week, yeah? Hey, maybe, maybe we'll see you in Cup soon, who knows? I got um, for these guys drink that. Well, hey, look, he's gonna be high up in the point standings here for trucks. So keep going, because uh, there's there's a championship to be had down here as well. Let's go, story. Broadcasted Clay, first one as a team owner in Cobra. Am I correct? That is correct. How you feeling, dude? I'm stoked. It was a great night for my team. Uh, all four of us finished inside the top ten, and we had a couple of friends that we. Uh, yeah, I got fourth place myself. Uh, feel bad for Nike. Feel like he kind of got the short end of the stick there uh, in the battle with Sayo. But he ended up finishing uh, eighth, and Trav came home in ninth. So a really solid day for the team. Uh, shout out for Baseball Kid who finished fifth. I know he had some lag issues tonight, so just wanted to shout him out. And uh, Mo Power Cowboy had his first start tonight uh, in, in Cobra and uh, kind of got the short end of an incident as well. So... Just all, all the all the guys that, uh, you know, kind of worked with tonight and coached up a little bit in certain different ways, but huge to get a first win. Yes, well, good job, yeah, good job, man. That one. Hey, look, you, you were in the thick of things. You, you tell us, what did you see? What was the, was it just over-aggressive moves? Was it uh, guys not wanting, uh, willing to yield space to someone else coming to their rear? Yeah, it was, it was pretty much just that, I mean. Guys, like, and I've been saying this across all the all the divisions here, is it takes time to understand others' driving styles. We got four brand new lobbies that are learning each other's driving styles, and you know, it's it, it just takes the time to put in, you know. Um, but yeah, also wanted to shout out Turf Tech there uh, for his third place finish at the end. Uh, I wish I could have brought could, could have brought it back and raced him for third. Would have been my first career podium, but congrats to Turf Tech on that. Uh, he raced me pretty clean uh, there at the end. He had a uh, lap or two fresher tires, so uh, happy for Turf Tech for his third place there. So congrats, bud. Thanks. I was trying not to get into you. I was like, I was like, well, I got to get by him, but I was like, I don't want to move him. Yeah. Well, um, I got sent a couple videos from Big T-Bones, that's your driver in the 23 truck sauce, and uh, he has one of the luckiest nights out of anybody. Three wrecks, completely avoided. <laughs> hey, shout out to him. And shout out to all the all out guys. Uh, you know, there's some, some bumps in there, but uh, you guys were definitely going all out. Definitely respectful. Shout out oh, to yeah. everyone tuning in. To the you put out a good show, for sure. <laughs> it's good for TV. So all right, so all right, so congrats to our podium. Congrats to everybody all night. This is a, a long night coming to a close. Uh, take a look on the Discord for our point standings. Uh, check out the Twitter, and as always, check out the YouTube. And like everyone's, there's uh, other streams. Go like everyone's YouTube. Go go give everybody the love. Spread it around. I love the war room. Yeah, spread, spread yeah. definitely spread some love around there. We're gonna have some good times tonight. And then I am out. Yeah. Out.